What is the relationship between theology and the Wesleyan tradition? If you were asked to name some of the great theologians of the 20th century, you would no doubt mention Barton, Ranner, von Balthasar, Maltman, Pannenberg, and so on. But none of them Wesleyans. Interestingly, from the Lutheran or the Reformed or the Catholic traditions. Does that matter? After all, you could probably say the same of the Anglicans, the Baptists, or the Pentecostals. And certainly, the Wesleyan tradition has produced great biblical scholars from Adam Clark right down to the present day. And while Wesley himself is regarded as a pastoral theologian, modern Wesley scholars such as Maddox and Collins have produced different versions of what Wesley's theology would look like if it was put in systematic fashion. Thomas Oden produced a systematic theology, perhaps more historical than systematic, and also four volumes of John Wesley's teachings. But what is systematic theology? Might it be better to call it dogmatic theology? Do we need it? Can Wesleyans not simply be pragmatists and get on with evangelism and social action without theology? Is the lack of a strong theological tradition a disadvantage? In today's world, in the increasingly secular West, in the multicultural and multi-religious Asia, with the rising evangelical churches of Africa and South America, is theology not more vital than ever? Does the lack of a strong theology leave us vulnerable to decline in the West and syncretism in the global South and East? These are the questions I will be tackling in the 2021 Manchester Wesley Research Centre lecture to be relayed on Tuesday 22nd June.